Hello and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God. And today I have a message for you from the Lord that has three scriptures to accompany it. The first is Psalm 17 verses 13 through 14 in the New International Version Bible. It reads, Rise up, Lord, confront them, bring them down. With your sword, rescue me from the wicked. By your hand, save me from such people, Lord, from those of this world whose reward is in this life. The next scripture is Revelation 18, verses 16 through 21. In the King James Version Bible, it reads, And saying, Alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls for in one hour so great riches is come to naught and every shipmaster and all the company in ships and sailors as many as trade by sea stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like unto this great city? They cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, this great city wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costliness. For in one hour she is made desolate. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets. For God hath avenged you on her. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. The last scripture is Revelation 21, verses 1 through 7. In the King James Version Bible, it reads, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sit upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Now for the message received on January the 15th, 2022, from the Lord God. These disasters ahead are markers. They are marking the days remaining until my return, an introduction of sorts to who I am. Many have heard of me, yet know not of me. Many were taught of me, yet are lukewarm in my sight. They slumber through these last days leading up unto my final judgments. They are in denial. They do not want to believe that everything they know or ever have known is about to change. 
Many of my children fear change, for a sense of insecurity is associated with change. The new thing is typically met with much resistance, even if the new thing is a good thing, in fact, a miraculous thing. Yes, my dear one, everything as you now know it is about to change. Get ready for these changing times ahead by reading my word, the New Testament and the book of Revelations are indeed playing out before your very eyes. Praise and worship me, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for I died on the cross at Calvary for forgiveness of your sins. Turn away, repent from these sins daily, and accept me into your hearts. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit of God, the Comforter. Form a much more personal relationship with me, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for I do not want any to perish. Whatever you think is important now, I tell you it is not, not as in all capital letters, in comparison to your salvation from the lake of fire. The enemy wants to steal your soul away from me, but I leave the many sheep to seek after the lost one. I am the good shepherd. Believe on me now before time runs out, exclamation point, with everlasting love, God the Father and Jesus of Nazareth. So, another warning message, and this one is focused, I believe, more in on the lost and lukewarm who still believe that everything is going to go back to normal when in reality we are, we are at the precipice of God's judgments falling down upon the land and he wants the Lord your God wants a much more personal relationship with you and he wants to rescue you from everything that's occurring here on the earth and he will be coming very soon he said before time runs out and he's in this message he's focusing on everything that's happening now people are being resistant to change but he says that change can be a good thing and I believe <clears throat> it really points this out in the scripture that I read Revelation 21 verses 1 through 7 about <clears throat> John seeing the new heaven and the new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea and I believe that he's giving you a glimpse into what it will be like after we are raptured out of here and that we will be able to live with God and he's going to wipe all of our tears away and that all the pain and it says for the former things are passed away and that he's going to it says here and he said unto me it is done i am the alpha and omega the beginning and the end i will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of water of life freely and it, it says he that overcometh shall inherit all things and i will be his god and he shall be my son so he's giving you hope that there's a way out. I know every day it seems to get darker and darker, but Jesus is the way. He is your salvation. If you don't believe on him, you're not going to go up in the rapture the first time. So please get down on your knees, ask the Lord God for forgiveness of sins, repent and turn away from your sins, and you will be deemed worthy to go up in the rapture the first time around. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. The Comforter will help help you through these difficult, trying times that are coming now with the judgments. So this is the message for today. I hope you enjoyed the message. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and definitely share it. 
If you enjoy the content on the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. I do pray for all of my subscribers and viewers daily for God's blood protection over your life from any harm from the enemy, including this virus. If you feel like this message speaks to you directly, please leave a comment down in the comments section and hopefully it will get to those other lost and lukewarm who are on the fence as to whether Jesus exists and whether he will be our savior during these last days. And it will be able to convince you that we are living in the last days. So please comment down in the comment section. And if you have a prayer request or a question or anything specifically you want me to pray for, Please send me an email at my email address, which is listed down below in the description box. And I want to thank you for listening, and may God bless you.